abundant, I can do all things through Christ. <laughs> what do y'all think about this? So, this is my life. This is what I do. And this is how I'm trying to live my lifestyle for the rest of my life. You, you hear me? But this is me. I think I look cute. You're too late to try. So this is the sauce that's filled. Hey guys, thank you for answering today's call and as you see from the title honey, what are we even doing? Because you tell me because I don't really know. All I know is I have a anniversary trip coming up. So this vlog, I'm going to be prepping for my anniversary. I'm sorry if you can hear the trucks out here. I'm outside taking in the balcony, the outdoors. It's not cold, but the groundhog didn't come out and I learned that because my doctor told me that. But yeah, this vlog, we're just going to be doing things, getting ready for my anniversary trip, taking us a T-R-I-P honey okay and i don't want to tell you guys where i'm going you probably know well you're probably gonna know in a few days if you watch this video like in a few days from the drop then you're gonna know but until then i don't want to tell you guys you guys can guess down below in the comments um please guess but i have some things to do i have to try on my fashion nova outfits so i'm gonna show you guys that later on and yeah i'm just super excited but i'm very hungry it is 5 p.m the sun is not to the ground yet so i might take a walk today like another walk you know what i mean but we'll see because it's really beautiful Beautiful out here and I'm just really excited about the day. I want some burrito tacos real bad right now. So I think I'm gonna go get some burrito tacos. I ain't supposed to be eating them damn burrito tacos, but they're so good. And I've been taking my supplements and stuff like that. I feel like if I eat cheese like once or twice a week, that's night. This night bad. But if you're new here, I don't, I'm not supposed to eat dairy, so. Oh, I have hazel with me. Say hey, doggy. Hey, hey, yes. So yeah, we just out here chilling, taking in this weather and i'm gonna be i don't know if i told y'all but i'm gonna be moving soon i made my pros and cons list today and yeah yeah i am indeed gonna move into my first high rise my first and last high rise i know it's gonna be nice i'm gonna like it there so i'm probably never gonna move to another high rise it'll probably be my first first and last if i said it for two years and i said it for two years if i said it for one i said it for one whatever the case may be but i do want to experience living in a high rise before i get a house because i don't know like i feel like that's something i've always wanted to do as a kid i just never did it i'm not gonna have a smoothie to hold me while i drive to the taco place probably like a 15 minute drive but i'm gonna have to drive back so it's probably like a 30 minute drive and then we're going to sit on the couch and relax and watch i have watch the show i have some things to do i have a lot of travel content to get out before then like before i leave because i want to get my all my mexico stuff out the way i'm posting my mexico stuff a month later because i'm a freaking procrastinator but luckily that doesn't matter like i didn't like have a deal or anything i simply went and that's how i even got this next deal because we're going to Miami on a brand trip, a brand trip. We're going on a brand trip. So we're going for free <laughs> and we're going to see how that goes. Y'all want to see it obviously, but the deal is on a short form content. So I'm not going to really like talk too much about the company on like my YouTube or anything, but yeah, I will have an itinerary, my itinerary for sale. I'm selling out to Loom itinerary for $10. I think that's low, but I might put my itineraries down to five, but they take a long time to make. So that's the main reason why I had it for 10 and 10 is low anyway. People sell itineraries for $50. So, yeah, it just saves you time. You spend $10 to save you hours of time. When you think about it like that, it's a lot easier to um, be able to, to follow through it. Now it's time for me to open up new pack of frozen fruit. My dog's about to eat that. But, yeah, life is it's going really well. It is. It really is. I'm trying to get my body together with my doctor when I get back from my trip. But, yeah, I'm going to take my little baby. Hey, hey, with me to the food spot. And yeah, I'm taking my supplements twice a day. I'm drinking um, some tea, like everything to get my body in balance. My body is out of balance, guys, if you're new here, babe. Yeah, um, my body's out of balance. I cannot eat dairy. I'm not supposed to be, I can't eat sugar, really. I'm not supposed to eat a lot of sugar at all. So this is a journey of just becoming my highest, healthiest version of myself. Like my most, hold on, let me just do this real quick. Here's my 
my shape. But the happiest, healthiest version of myself. And just really living at optimal health so that when I get older, I live longer. Like you guys, a lot of people are eating terrible now because they're young and stuff like that. Like I'm not gonna eat burritos, I go, but you ain't really not really that good. Let's be so honest. Um, but yeah, that's gonna catch up when we're older. Like, you know how so many older people have like diseases and things like that, and that's usually what takes them out. A lot of like colored people go out with something. It's like hardly sleep hardly if it is you have really good genes but some people are not blessed with great genes when it comes to surviving diseases and cancers and stuff like that so it's all what we do when we're younger so i'm not telling you not to eat bad but please start incorporating like more water more fruits more veggies like leafy greens teas natural things like stuff like that start to do more of that take breaks from drinking take breaks from weed and stuff like that because it's killing your brain cells and may not and maybe uh what is the word natural or whatever the case may be but as time goes on all this stuff is getting bad what we roll in the stuff and what you put in it the grab all of that extra shit is not supposed to be in there so this is my life, this is what I do, and this is how I'm trying to live my lifestyle for the rest of my life, you, you hear me? Okay, and I need to go to the gym. Well, I need to go to bar class real bad, so I'm gonna try to go to bar tomorrow. I'm trying to go to sleep early tonight. So let's just go ahead and get this day tackled, get this food out the way, and get these videos edited. And then tomorrow, I have to create some videos for my creator society and get those ready by 7 p.m. on Monday because that's when my, my new lessons drop. So I, need, I wanna go get those out the way. All right, y'all. I'm in Hello. Happy to Bria. Y'all, my stomach is bubbling like. If you ever want a better bowel movement, please start taking Bloom, y'all. They've sponsored me before. I would love to get sponsored by them again because I really like their product. My stomach is bubbling up right now. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it is currently 7 o'clock. This full run lasted way too long. Ain't that right, Hazel? Ain't it? I know it. Let me get this gone. Thank you all. I'm about to eat a piece of gum and then eat my food when I get in. I'm excited for my food. Okay, we have 19 minutes to drive. Let's go ahead and get this night rolling on. I'm so excited for this year. Like, I'm just so thankful and beyond blessed. For real. But tomorrow I have to do some things. I have to really plan my own society videos. This week we're going over like angles and like how to get good quality um, videos and all of that. So... Man. I'm excited. I'm excited because the girls are gonna up their content game, have them go viral, have them, you know, get what they desire, get brand new and stuff like that. But in order to get brand new, you have to know what you're doing. So, yeah. And then on Monday, I have a meeting with a new business partner, y'all. Like, we is really out here doing big things. And then I want to rent my car out. If you guys were my car, you live in Atlanta, you would rent my car out. Let me know because. I really want to get into that. I just got to transfer it from my personal name to my business name. And then once I do that, I'm going to get another insurance. I like who I'm with. I'm with USAA, y'all. But I do not want to risk getting them. Like, I don't want to risk. I don't know what the hell I want. don't want to risk. But why you? Why are you um doing that? You saw my blinkers on? They just flashed me with their bright side. They didn't. And y'all heard me have that blink on. Anyway, uh, yeah. I really like USAA. It's the lowest price that I've had since I was with State Farm with my dad a long time ago. Like the longest my car insurance has ever been for this car was I want to say four something, and then it just randomly went up to like five. Then it went up to a thousand, and then I left them after that thousand, baby. After that thousand, they were just they were stretching. They was very much dragging it at that point. So I went to Progressive, and then Progressive, how Progressive gets you, they let they make you think you're getting a low price in the beginning, but once that first term is over. That shit jumps up. Like, it went up to $700 again, or six or $700. Something high, canceled them, and then my mom was like, you could just get with USAA. I could be your, like, your reference or whatever. And then I went there, and that's where we've been. So options with, like, car rentals and stuff like that, you could do commercial insurance. But it's a lot more money for commercial because it's a lot more liability, like, more drivers. You know, you drive a lot more, like, you might... The more, the more you drive the more likely you're going to crash like that's just how they think and so yeah i'm thinking like this other girl i had messaged this girl who does car rental she's been doing it for a minute she said she just adds people like on and off of the insurance because i'm not renting my car out without the driver insured i'm not because if they do something or something happens to the car i just lost a car with nothing you get what i'm saying but if something happened and the, the driver was insured when it happened okay now the insurance is going to help me get you know another car and if it wasn't their fault then the other person's company is giving me a new car so yeah and then obviously the driver whoever did it duh you're gonna have to pay for that like you 
you paying for it and I'm not so I'm gonna have like a, a rate like maybe like 10k or something like that $5,000 something a lot of money so drive that shit with ease and then my, I'm gonna get a new car and once I'm like over like the new car butterflies and stuff which probably take like six months to a year then I'm gonna have that car run it too but even before then I might just add more cars if this Kia does really well I'm gonna get like a Nissan or a um, Camry or something What's some cars? The popular Camry right now? Toyota Camry. Oh, I'm slow to Camry. <laughs> I get like a Camry or something like that. But yeah, I just want my cars to work for me and, you know, have cars that pay for my actual car and they pay for themselves. And I feel like that way my cars are not liabilities. If I was just, just if I were to just get a second car, I would have two liabilities. Like, no, if I don't make all the money back from like my YouTube content, my short form content, all that stuff, then I just wasted money and now my car is a liability. So when you guys are getting cars and you're not making any money from that car, it is potentially a liability and not an asset. An asset means that it makes you money and it's positive value to your life. So besides having a point A to B, that don't matter. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about money. All right, guys. So this car need to get away from me. For real. They're pissing me off. And why is my car, my GPS making me go on the most traffic filled routes, traffic filled possible routes that there can be? Like, can somebody let me in front of them? Thank you, babe. You're so sweet. But now I'm sitting in this damn traffic, bro. 13 minutes, 12 minutes away. But yeah, that's my little TED talk with y'all. So I'll see y'all um, probably. I'll show you guys my food and then I'll just see you guys tomorrow or something like that. I don't want to like talk y'all head out because we ain't getting into the maintenance to the end of the week to be honest so if you came here for maintenance baby you better hit that skip button but i don't recommend it because why would you want to skip me like my target audience on youtube is literally ladies and women who that's so scary who really just want like somebody in their background they just want to hear something in their background they want to put it on while they clean eat do something like that doesn't they're not trying to watch like to watch like you're asked you're watching to watch it but you're okay with shit being long because you're not watching it for like a specific reason like you're trying to get something out of it that's my ideal target audience on youtube people who just want a bestie westie to get on the phone with if your real friends ain't answering the phone because i'm gonna talk to you okay that's one thing i am gonna do i'm going to talk to you and you're going to be talking to me and your brain is going to be stimulated because i'm always talking about something and i'm always asking questions and we just be out here thinking and thugging together so yeah so i'm gonna see y'all later this traffic is busting right now i'm just ready to eat because i only ate avocado toast and fruit today and it's seven o'clock no ma'am and a protein shake now and it's starting to wear off especially because i'm talking and getting all my energy out so i'm gonna be quiet and shut up and drive oh my gosh good morning guys so i actually changed my mind i think this is gonna be a weekend vlog because i want to have more videos to upload and not just like once a week so we're gonna do a weekend vlog i am at home guess what i ate for breakfast broccoli because i don't have any food i don't have any breakfast that's why we're gonna go grocery shopping but before that we have to get our grocery shopping list together so let's go ahead and head into the kitchen i got a new package and let's open it together because i was on the phone like last night or something like that hold on let me get here it goes. Um, I was on the phone, right, talking to my boyfriend, and he was talking about like how he needed like some new groceries or something like that. And I was like, you should just put it on your refrigerator so like when you run out of something, you easily write it down. And I was like, I need to take my own advice because I'll be running out of things out and try to remember to put it in my notes. So when I go grocery shopping, I remember. Or when I order Instacart, I order it. But sometimes that doesn't happen. So I ordered a week planner a grocery list planner for the refrigerator and I don't have the week planner yet but I do have the grocery list thing that I want to use so you use this knife to cut it open so I wanted to open it up with you guys and give you guys inspo if you haven't already I got this off Amazon for eight dollars I think or something like that so let's get into it oh this is cute so it's magnetic let me wipe my hands off and it comes with markers already so this is what it looks like it's two lists on here. Uh, I just got two, but we're going to just use one just to see. This is dirty. I don't feel like getting like Windex or nothing, honestly. So, let's just do it like this real quick and see what it's giving. All right, how do we put this on there? Do it matter? Oh, wow. Y'all see that? Don't play with that, girl. Okay. It didn't come with no black marker, though. What type of mess is that? Luckily, I have my own. Can y'all see? 
see that or is it like too clear so i need so much stuff i'm gonna put grocery list let me try a color and see what if the colors are better and that's why i wanted to do color oh yes ma'am that looks way better that looks way better can y'all see let me zoom in that red looks way better so oh and it's like hard to come off okay i want to do blue because blue is my favorite color so oh this is so vibrant grocery list <laughs> so what do i need for groceries i know i need some relish ranch barbecue i'm gonna put those on the same one because they go together and then i need garlic salt lemon pepper butter tuna strawberries this is really for like when I run out of stuff though. Like this is a lot. So I would never in my life really put all of the groceries on one thing. I need apples. I think I need bread. I need asparagus, milk. I would have ran out. I need every damn thing. But this is cute to have or whatever. I wish I had like a magnetic thinky thinky so I can put that there. But I think this is cute for now. Even though like I'm going to erase this stuff. But I just wanted to try it out. That's what I need for. Oh they have white. White. White is cute. White is the vibe. Next time we go on white. I love these markers. Oh my gosh. And then there's a second list right here. But we're not going to put that on there. Because we still have to put our um weekly meal planner on there. So we just gonna wait on that to come. But I'ma just put this back in the box. So I will link that down below if I get reminded to. If it's not there, comment it. And then I will link it for the people who want it in the comment. And that's acrylic marker. No, that's acrylic. This is acrylic. I'm slow. Um, but no, for real, for real, I have a master grocery list in my phone, like that I take with me to the grocery store. So it's called groceries in my notes. I'm getting hungry, so I really need to do it. All right, do I need water? No. I need sweet potatoes? Yes. I need asparagus? Do I need frozen fruit? No. Do I need avocados? Yes. Bread? Yes. Salmon? Yes. Chicken? Yes. Eggs? Yes. Popcorn? Yes. Tuna? Yes. Garlic? Apples? I need gloves. Bread? Strawberries? Let's go ahead and get blueberries too. Almond milk. Okay, so when I go to the grocery store, do I have everything? Oh, I need relish. Relish not on here. Ranch. Barbecue sauce butter okay so we have butter sweet potatoes asparagus avocados i need broccoli broccoli relish ranch barbecue sauce bread salmon chicken eggs popcorn tuna garlic apples gloves bread gloves gloves bread i think i got bread on here twice i think i got strawberries on here twice no I don't okay so strawberries blueberries and almond milk i think that's it I got peanut butter, I got all of that. I just don't have nothing to cook, um, which is, I like sweet potatoes, and I like rice, I already have rice. I like chicken, I like broccoli, I like asparagus. Those are the only veggies I really eat. And yeah, that's all I need. That's my every, what I eat all the time. And my snack is popcorn. I do have some in here, but it's almost gone. And this is my favorite snack ever. Got one, so I need some more of that. Some of this stuff is gonna be Instacarted and some of it's gonna be at the dollar at the um what is that thing called? The farmers market. So whatever I don't get at the farmers market, I will have to get from Instacart, such as like gloves and stuff like that. Because I'm not about to I don't think they have that at the farmer's market. I don't know. Um, but that's about all that I need. And I need to hire a maid, but I have to film my credit society videos tonight. So I'm going to straighten up because I am showing them how to film. So that is the vibe for the day. And then I'm going to get that all edited and have that to them by Monday day. And yeah, so your girl's about to get ready to head on out. I got to put my wig back on, put a hat on, put a little cute fit on, and then go to the grocery store. I think the next thing is the grocery store. I was supposed to do plan my groceries and stuff at 11. Now it's 12, 12 o'clock. I'm supposed to be getting ready, and then we're going to be leaving and stuff. So... Mm. What's that? I'm going to drink a protein shake again before I leave to hold me over. Yet again, because your girl ate broccoli for breakfast. <laughs> and then I should be going to get lunch with a friend. So but we'll see how all of that goes. I'm about to go ahead and get ready and just put my wig on, put the outfit on. Then head to the grocery store, drink my little protein shake, get what I'm supposed to get done, come back here, drop my groceries off, and go somewhere for lunch because we live in the same area. So it's not far or hard to meet up or anything like that. So... I will show you guys all of those things later. I'll show you guys to get it ready too, but I'm about to like brush my teeth, wash my face, 
do stuff like that and then we could talk when i do um put my wig on because i'm not trying to wear makeup so now before i go i want to put this rug in the washer so that's sauce have been sitting in there forever so i don't know if it's even gonna come off anymore but it's never too late to try never too late to try so this is the sauce that spilled i'm gonna put it in the washer i don't know how to get it out like should i spray that with something all i know is to just put that thing in a use two of these this is it right here so do i spray i'm about to spray it i don't know with what <laughs> I'm gonna spray it with all purpose. It's gonna get the grease out. Let's just see if this works, you know? All right, let's get this baby in. I've definitely washed this before, but it's so dirty. Like, how do people keep white rugs clean, especially with a dog? Oh, I got my hat on. I got this shirt on. This is my merch, unreleased merch. I still need to drop because it's cute. Um, And yeah. Y'all, what the hell is today? This farmer's market is so full. It's so many people in here, bro. Like, I've never seen as much of a line. I've never seen no parking. Like, I've never seen it having no parking. There's no parking. Like, it's all gone. Is that a parking spot? I'm gonna park right here. What the heck? It's Saturday. Yo, I guess people off. I don't know why. But it's a lot of people up in here. Let me go in here and get out of here fast. Because I don't want to be in here long at all. So, let's go ahead and get these groceries. I'm about to put some gum in. I'm getting hungry. But, friend, friend. Says she is at the car wash real quick. I'm gonna get her car wash out. Close it up. And um, then we go. I'm gonna go put my groceries up. And then we're gonna go somewhere. I'm gonna ask her what you wanna eat. And then I gotta film my creator videos today. As long as they're filmed, I'll be fine. Cause I can edit them tomorrow. I do need to film them today. I'm going really in detail about like the products you need to film. Angles, how to get the angles. Lighting and the filming do not. It's like where I'm shaping my girls to be able to go viral. To be able to get a community that actually likes them. And they produce quality content. So their audience is always, you know, happy. I think I'm gonna buy some flowers too while I'm in here. So I'm gonna get some flowers as well. I love the weather so I've realized I like the time from transitioning from winter to spring and I like the time where it's transitioning from summer to fall like I like fall fall is my season because it's not too hot it's not too cold right now it's not too hot it's a little bit more on the colder side but it's not like <laughs> so these is my two favorite seasons it's pretty much the same thing but just at different times of the year and I also saw this TikTok that said the world has lied to us about like seasons like they have added months and there's 28 days later tonight but right now it's not i'm not i'm gonna just put it in the fridge i also got some flowers these are the ones i got they're pink my current flowers are de A -D. and i got some bread y'all know i get felt bread it's not the best tasting my taste buds are used to stuff not tasting the best honestly so i'm happy about that for someone who's like just transitioning to healthy it's not a fun time because the stuff doesn't taste as good as it used to but it's healthier and yeah okay here goes chicken then i got asparagus then i got sweet potatoes put these over here i'm gonna take them out of here because last time they went old fast and i googled it well not old they started sprouting fast and i googled it and it said the moisture so then i got garlic salt and lemon pepper i hope that lemon pepper is good i'm about to taste it i got butter then i got strawberries and blueberries I got avocados and apples. I'm ordering me some Instacart too. It's on the way right now. And then here is my eggs. Organic. And I usually get two of everything that I eat a lot. Like eggs. And then I got two more milks. So now I got three milks. And then here's the salmon and the chicken. I'm going to do this later. When I move, I want my house to be way more like clean, like basic. So I'm going to like change these into, y'all know the ones off Amazon. I got the lemon pepper with salt because I feel like what is lemon pepper without salt? So how I'm gonna put it in there is like this. As y'all can see, I make a little funnel. <laughs> it was just a matter of time. It was a matter of fucking time, y'all. Let's use this spoon. Here it is, 
it's working. Then I'm gonna get like a hold on, let me get another thing. I don't have um like a little thing, like a little sprinkler. So I'm gonna just have to season them in pepper like this. Like, like just open. I hope that tastes good. But now here is the garlic salt. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I got seasoning everywhere right now, bro. garlic salt and our lemon pepper back in action we finished the room we finished painting the room but we didn't do the room so i will show you guys in my next week vlog even though my next week vlog is prepped for our anniversary trip but still y'all be able to see that because i am gonna finish it but i have a lot of things to really do this week it is currently tuesday and i will be seeing ava today we are going to um this pho restaurant it's called pho i never had pho i don't even know it's like ramen right but i never had ramen except the ramen noodles you make in the microwave or you make it huh so i don't know nothing about no pho but we're gonna see that's gonna be really fun today so i'm gonna see my girl ava waver ava waver the dime and um yeah so um side note i ordered some glasses from amazon these are for miami and i think that they're super cute this is these. I love shades that have the brown on it. I don't know. That's just my vibe. I like the ombre with the brown. Then I got the ombre with the black. And it's cool, but I like the, the brown better. But people might like these better. I like both. Like, it depends on the vibe. Like, this is like real club, nightclub, night, you know. Something like you're trying to look like really fancy. And then the other one is giving like white soccer mom like chilling out in the daytime on the beach i don't know that's the vibe that i get so yeah i wanted to spend the last day with you guys this is not filmed on a weekend but it will be called a weekend vlog because it's only like three days worth of footage and i have so much to do this week i have to edit this i have to finish uploading my videos to creator society because they did not finish and that's what i need to do right now i'm about to edit this clip because i was teaching the girls angles today so i have to like i'm gonna show them each angle like done into like a little kind of short little reel so i'm gonna do that and then show them that today and then i'm gonna show them how to edit videos next week i believe but we're also filming that i plan on filming next week's videos because i'll be in miami oh my gosh i'll be out of town <laughs> um i want to do that before i leave so when i get back i'll have to do the next week so this whole entire month i have not got, got around to batch creating inside of the community but it's totally fine you know i'm just doing it alone versus me doing it live which i kind of like this better and they watch it afterwards my only con right now with the, the with the society is our communication i want the girls to communicate way more than they do they do not freaking talk and i don't like that so that's the only thing that i'm working on with them really trying to get that together but it's hard to control a group of people who live life and that's why i made the community what it is it's to help you balance this and life because it's not just thrown at you but you have to find time to do it like once or twice a week you know what i'm saying it's not we live every single day because stuff like that's just not realistic for people who have real responsibilities so if you're interested in learning anything about getting paid brand deals ugc all types of things then you should join creative society it's 97 dollars a month it will go up to 127 in a few months so i would recommend getting in now and then you get it at that price so yeah that's about that um i am what else that's pretty much it. I just need to get ready. I'm not going to blow my hair down. I'm going to wear a hat and then I'm probably just going to put some lashes on. Something simple to my eyebrows. Something simple. Not do too much, I don't think. I don't know. I'm probably going to do makeup, y'all. It really just depends because my girl Ava is a beauty fashion fashionista. And if she going to step, then I'm going to step and we're going to be steppers together. So that's the vibes today, y'all. And it's gloomy out. I haven't, I haven't say I haven't been outside. I have been outside, but I haven't really like sat outside. I just got done journaling, guys. Ooh, I just got done journaling this is my journal for 2024 and i've been on and off with it but i have been doing pretty good if you ask me like pretty pretty good it's not every day how it needs to be but pretty good and when i tell you guys life is amazing life is going good in so many different aspects bro i can't even kid y'all like i got i got new friends y'all know i be begging for that i've been begging for that i got new friends i'm consistent in almost everything in my life i have added another successful stream of income and more to come because what i told y'all 2024 is a year of doing every single thing that i see that could that i'm interested in i'm gonna do it so i'm gonna be renting my car out soon like we're just doing 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 and doing and it's showing already and it's about to be march this first quarter this first quarter went crazy okay went crazy in all aspects like i'm turning into a travel creator i'm having my first brand trip what is you really saying to me you're not saying name 
to me. Okay, I'm taking my family on a vacation. I'm about to help my family out because I feel like I just want to help. There's, just, there's something in me that just wants to give. And I don't know what it is. But, yeah, that's about that. I just want to come in and say hey to you guys. I wanted to make sure I had everything going. I need to see if this brand approved my video or not. Because, honey, I haven't, upload, I haven't uploaded to YouTube in a minute because of these brands. Like... This is not cute, like, at all. I don't know if they replied or what. I, let me see, when was the last time I uploaded? Because first, it was this other brand. Nine days. First, it was this other brand. Then, they, then, then Valentine's Day over. So now we got to move it to another video. It's just a whole bunch, a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. And I just don't get time. I just don't got time for it. My solo trip video is at 90K, y'all. It's almost at 100K. Am I a travel influencer or what? <laughs> Or what? What are we doing? I can't wait till I really learn about travel influencers so I can teach other girls how to do it. Cause we still in the beginning phases, like getting used to it and things like that. But I cannot wait. Okay, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. But YouTube is going well. Everything I've wrote down, like it's coming to life, and that's the power of writing down and writing things down and being actionable. Like writing it down isn't gonna make things like magically puff up into thin air. No, you are gonna have to write it down, think about it like a lot, and put action behind it. It's simple. Like my vision board. My vision board. Give me a minute. My freaking vision board, y'all. So let's go ahead and go down it real quick. And my bag with my Bible too. We're definitely. The Bible has been so hard for me to read though. Like I'm reading it, but it's just not clicking to me. Like I need to find a Bible studying. Like I have a Bible study church, but like do they Bible study every day? I need to find somewhere where they do it every day. Like I can add it into my routine somewhere. You know what I mean? Like I have Bible study on Sundays, of course, but then I Bible study with a community on the weekdays. I don't know. I need to figure that out, but still in it we doing that i am abundant i know i am i'm abundant i can do all things through christ <laughs> i don't know people say that it's just like you didn't read that you just saw it but i am abundant i am abundant i am fruitful i have so many opportunities so many things around me my heart is abundant everything is nothing runs out 2024 success is calling softness is not a weakness okay so we're working on this it says softness is not a weakness it takes courage to stay delicate in the world in the world that's cruel so i want like really good feminine energy and like that has been up and down like that's a real thing energy is so real and there's two different types like it's up and down it's up and down it's feminine and masculine and it's up and down for real with me so we're working on getting like our femininity in balance with the masculine i don't really think it's in balance i think it's just like this woo -doo 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 all the time so um we have digital products right here digital products been going crazy for me i'm supposed to start something soon i really need to get in here i just know it might be a little bit harder but we're gonna get into that because i put it on here and then i wanted more flowers i've been getting lots of flowers groceries this is, this is pretty good this is pretty good i haven't eaten crazy because i've been doing the challenge which it's over and y'all i wouldn't say that i passed that i really wouldn't say it i made it really far but i wouldn't say that i did everything like it got real lenient in it and we're gonna talk about that too another day she evolved she did all that matters is what god thinks of me very true like every time something happens for me something big small whatever i always think about god and what he thinks of it like like i want to thank him but what does he really think of it and what's been going on and how it got here like what does he think of me right now and that's what i really feel like all that matters to me current vibe keeping all the promises i made myself yep solo travel this is like soft life like wear ropes i definitely wear ropes and stuff um, this is my mentorship. We're definitely doing it, but I want it to be better. I deserve the world, so I'm going to give it to myself. Yes, ma'am. This is extra more income. Definitely got that coming on. TikTok. I'm supposed to be posting on TikTok. We uh, we in and out of TikTok, y'all. I don't know. Then we have um, YouTube sit-down videos. So we was doing that real strong, but we slowed it down because a lot's going on. But whenever I get my life back in balance, I want to get back into the sit-down videos. Then we have travel, I'll become a reader, working out, find God like friends or similar like you know friends in Christ this is travel as well new era a hustling woman so we are almost we're almost complete with quarter one this is only quarter one guys so when I make these vision boards I make them to for things that I can reach in through three months so we're definitely doing this and it makes me really 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 proud of myself Woo! but let me go ahead and edit this video and get this out get that already uploaded and I see you guys a little bit later, like when I'm getting ready or something like that, because we are going to be going out, and I don't know when she's going to be in the way, but she lives an hour away from me, so I'll have some time to like really hurry up and get ready once she's on the way, then we're going to go. 
so hey guys thank you for answering today's call as you see from the title your girl is about to be prepping for her anniversary trip so i am going on vacation y'all i'm going to miami i'm gonna go ahead and say where i'm going because i already know this ain't gonna be out before i go so i'm going to miami i'm going to the yams dammy zim zim with my man zims and it's my first ever branch Rip. I'm so excited. So today I have some things to do. It is the 29th of February and I have a call to get on with my mentorship. I do mentor girls who want to get brand deals, who want to start UGC and all of those beautiful things. So I have our first little meeting today and um, we're going to just talk and chat and just do some audits and things like that. So um, yeah, I'm about to get my nails done. These are my Valentine's Day nails. This one is broke underneath. I know it is because it really hurts so, so bad. So I'm going to get them soaked off. Today I'm going to get them soaked off get a pedicure and get a um i wish i i want to start doing jail x eventually but i know this nail is broken so we're gonna go ahead and do a full set um short square i like really short thin square white i think i think i'm gonna do white yeah i'm gonna do white i'm gonna just keep it basic i like basic nails i like basic things i like basic clothes so yeah y'all that's what i got going on and yeah I haven't journaled today. I have a really, really bad headache today. I don't have a wig on my head. My wig got delivered to my boyfriend's house. So, I'm getting my hair done on this vlog. I got a wax yesterday, so I didn't film that. So, yeah, all I've done so far is literally get a wax. I need to shave my underarms. I need to shave my legs. I need to do my lashes. I need to um, get my nails done. I need to do a whole bunch of things that I just have not done. And today is my last day at my house. Because we're going to go to my boyfriend's house. Then I'm going to be there because I got to do his hair. Like, y'all, we got so much to do. So, I'm going to show y'all literally everything that I do. Uh, I'm looking for my wig. Because where's my wig? Because... I've been throwing it on and taking it off every day. I just don't know where I took it off last. And I'm extremely hungry. Um, I don't eat fast food, guys. <sighs> I haven't had fast food since 2023. We are about to be two complete full months into 2024. And I have not ate fast food for real. And when I say for real, like I've had Panera Bread and things like that. I have had fast food, but not... When you think of fast food, sorry. You know what I mean. And that's what I haven't had. So, trying to keep that streak going... I'm not really tempted because I'm so used to not eating it anyways that it's not really that big of a deal. So we're fine, but just about to go ahead and get my nails done. I'm about to start my mini vlog because I like to do mini vlogs on TikTok and Instagram when it comes to like trips and brand trips and things like that. Or just like mini vlogs, period. And this sports bra I have on has my chest looking crazy. Do y'all see that? I'd rather have it. I'd rather have it open like that. It just look better. That's too much. It's giving cleavage. I don't have no boobs. What the heck? It's giving cleavage. Okay. So, yeah. I'm about to go ahead and leave the house. I have not left all day. I haven't done anything. All I did was take my dog out. And I'm just about to get these nails done. That's what we got to do. And I got to be back here in two hours. The nail salon isn't far. It's right up the street. It's new. So, hopefully nobody's there. Um, and I need to get a battery. Uh, the camera battery for y'all. And then I'm going to charge my batteries up. Because this one is halfway dead. One is completely dead. And this is my charger. I washed my dishes not that long ago, but I still need to clean my kitchen. Like, I haven't wiped down or anything like that. And I don't want to leave with, like, anything in the fridge or anything that's in the sink. Things like that. So, when I come back, it don't smell like 50,000 cans of Dr. F in here. I am going to check in a bag. So, I have to go buy a big suitcase because I have too much things. I have to bring supplements. I have to bring lights. I have to bring um so many things. Even though it's just a three-day trip, y'all. It's a pretty much a weekend trip on the weekdays like we're going Monday Tuesday Wednesday um and it's just too much stuff that I don't want to figure out how to fit in a carry-on simple so I'm going to get a check-in bag I have to take lights like I said I gotta take my journal my computer I gotta take shoes heels supplements I gotta take just so much that it's just better to pay that cool little $35 on the suitcase and stop being cheap because no it's just too much additional work that i don't have in me both of these are dead oh my gosh oh no this one's alive okay so let me change the battery i just put up i'm really pushing time so let me hurry up and go in here and get these nails done um i may or may not get my feet done we're going to see i really need to see because i don't have time to be in here all that so i really need to get these soaked off and get a new set going and then plan what i'm gonna talk about on this call i kind of already know what i'm gonna talk about but i want like better detail so yeah that's what i'm about to do while i'm in here while i'm getting my nails and my feet done and things like that hopefully no longer than an hour and an hour and 30 minutes it is 4 29 so by 5 30 yeah by 6 
I should be done heading back home and my call is at 7. So, yeah. I got my nails done okay so gel x is not what i thought it was so i'm only gonna get gel x if i'm trying to get like designs and stuff other than that i'm these look like just better press on it's literally better press ons for 70 dollars so now um ooh, it's cold probably just gonna start getting my real nails done again please don't worry about this i'm gonna just get regular gel i think it's like 40 or 50 dollars or something like that because that's what i used to get and it was fine so that's what i thought i was getting but like gel x was like a better type of gel no it's not it's it's just it's just it's the same thing it's the same thing as a as a um press on but like just extra stuff going on so yeah i don't know so it is cold it is cold out here today um it's 55 degrees on my car but yeah i'm headed back to the crib ski and i'm about to make me a smoothie and eat a snack i think i want apples and peanut butter um a type of snack i'm feeling and then i'm going to map out what i'm talking about just go over little things before i get on there so i'm not on there blind and we're probably not we're not gonna be on there that long it's supposed to last an hour but it's probably gonna last 30 minutes because it ain't too 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 much to talk about but we'll see um that's why i want to map out what i talk about so it's all incongruence and goes on but uh she finished my nails at six o'clock literally so it was right on time how much time I wanted to spend there. It literally was an hour and a half. And same girl who did my last nail did these nails. I don't want to say I don't like her work, but I don't really like her work. Like, it's not bad work. She just moves very slow, in my opinion. And there's a lot of unnecessary things. And my pinky nail hurts so bad, y'all. And it's like cut, kind of like. She didn't do it. It was like that. From the other day, I hit my nail. Like, I don't even know what happened, but it like kind of split on my nail bed, kind of that really hurts so yeah i'm ready for my two weeks already so that i can get these taken off and just literally do gel white gel polish on my hands and that'll do me good or i think i used to get sns but sns is the same thing as acrylic so that's why i went ahead and started back doing nails because it's the same thing they just put in powder and it's the same thing the same products it's just no nail and i was expecting these to be no nail but so yeah i'm gonna go back to doing gel nails i'm gonna try to start doing gel nails old lady teens but my nails are pretty short i want them shorter than these so yeah what you doing i want them shorter than these so that's gonna be pretty cool pretty cool to experiment with again i remember they don't last that long so i'm gonna really have to get my nails done or like when they start chipping i know i gotta go and i remember my nails will break a little bit so we're gonna see what's going on with that when i go back to gel nails because i eat a lot better than i used to and like nail strength and all of that stuff goes back to what you eat so yeah speaking of eat i really need to eat some food but all my meats are frozen but i do have shrimp to cook i can cook shrimp but i'm not in no shrimpy mood like i have not been wanting shrimp to the point where i forgot i had shrimp in my freezer so i kind of would eat shrimp with something like i don't really want to eat just shrimp as my only protein like salmon and shrimp chicken and shrimp stuff like that cute but just having shrimp you don't know it ain't really good it ain't even it ain't really click so yeah let's go ahead and get this out of the way i'm going to drink my protein shake to give me something on my stomach um and then some apples and peanut butter i'm really hungry though i wish i just always had like a protein made but i don't i think i might make some rice i might put some rice on the stove or something like that you guys i got so much bleep to pack like i have so much bs to pack like i straightened up after my haul and things like that because it got real 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 messy it's still messy but it, it was worse <sighs> i need to take my avocados because we don't go to the trip till three days from now today is the 29th so we have one two three we leave on the fourth and i have supplementing things that i take i don't want to take this big thing with me so i'm drinking one more i'm open this i probably gotta take all of them i usually just grab them out but i drink two of these today so 
But today is the 29th, I got one thing. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need 14. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's only nine teas. I got more tea in here. I'll be ordering them from Amazon if you guys were wondering. So I have nine, I need 14. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, and my nail broke. My nail chips. I gotta get that done tomorrow. Never getting gel X again. One, two, three, four, five. So we got 14, and then we got one for tonight. Here's our teas. I'm gonna put this in a little baggy and how I'm gonna drink them I think I'm going to make my tea the night before I'm just gonna put it in water and let it soak overnight versus having hot water unless they have a hot brewer in the room so we'll see what they have because I must still take my supplements okay boom and I also take these every single day so I need one more for tonight and I need 14. 1, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I'm going to go ahead and drop them. Boom. And I'm going to put it in this juicy bag. Also, so today is Thursday. We have, what's today? Thursday? Friday? Saturday? I just got to fill all of this up, honestly. That's all I got to do. So I need to think about it. Let me just go ahead and fill up where I left off at. Right? So I got to fill up Wednesday and Thursday. I'm going to take my Thursday right now because today's Thursday. So this is my probiotic. Just in case you wanted to be a little nosy. Then I have, ooh. I gotta order some more of this. I think I got some in my car. Y'all, yeah, I'm already out of that, so let's go ahead and throw this away. What else I got in here? And I got vitamin D. So I took one today, not one tomorrow. Took, take one Saturday, not one Sunday. Take one Monday, not one Tuesday. Take one Wednesday. Boom. My vitamin D. And that is all for that. Yep. I need some water. I put this in my bag too. Boom. Take that and I might as well take my flosser with me since I got a whole little gadget going. This is my supplement bag. I'm about to take these two right now. So I'm going to take this water with me because I need to finish it. Take my bag with me. And y'all know I don't have a big suitcase, so I have to go buy one. And we have to wake up early tomorrow because we're doing a lot of things. So I just have random stuff over here. I'm also about to put my sleep mask. Well, yeah, I'm going to put my sleep mask in here. Boom. I got my journal. I really got to take this water with me. Um, as far as purse, I think I'm going to take my black purse to the airport. So I'm going to put this in there, just so I know. And then my AirPods right there. What else? Then we got my computer gadgets. I need to throw that in there too. Okay, this is my computer bag. I got like a computer pocket. But let me look at, I'm taking this iPad back out today anyway because I got a plan tomorrow. But I'm about to check off everything I've done. I did not journal today. Did not order no melatonin either. I planned Miami for the most part. Filmed the thing. I did not edit my vlog. I did not do that. I went to another appointment. Packing my bag. I don't need to bring a wig because I have the wig at the house. Um, I did my clothes. Packages. What packages? Then I got supplements packed. All right. So I have a few things to do tomorrow for my business and stuff. Even though this is still a business trip, I got my freaking passport. 
in here. I'm going to take this passport out. I don't need that. Um, mm, journal. Put that in the big part. I bought a new tripod for my camera. It's compact, just like this one. So I'm really excited for that. Shut you. And I have my creative society all planned out. Bing. I have these dishes to wash. Um, I have my water bottle right there. Get my chargers. Girl, it's really running. We gotta make sure we get everything for this trip. Honey bun. Whew. And then I'm also bringing one of these lights. So I have one set up right here that I'm obviously going to put in my computer. I don't think I'm bringing that in my computer bag though. Because that bag about to be heavy as heck. And we don't got time for nothing like that. He gonna have his camera bag, I'm sure. Then I got mine. We only got one carry-on suitcase. Wait, carry-ons are free, right? Carry-ons are free? Because I could just put my la my computer stuff in a suitcase. Instead of bringing my book bag. Or put my book bag in a suitcase. <laughs> Might just put my book bag in a suitcase. What y'all think? Is that slow? Seriously, I might just do that. Are carry-ons free? Carry-ons are free. Carry-ons are free. So I'm checking the bag in, and my computer bag is going to be in a suitcase with my purse on top. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. That might be slow, but that's what we're going to do. That really might be slow. Do they allow that? They're going to be like, why do you have a book bag inside of a suitcase? <laughs> What should I do, y'all? Nah, he's gonna wear his book bag on his back. I'm gonna put my book bag on his suitcase and I'm going to carry my purse on my arm. Period, point blank. Cause I know this suitcase is gonna be a little heavy cause it got all the gadgets and, and stuff. So we don't got time for that. So I also have these outfits on the floor that I'm about to pack up, but I just wanna get all my gadgets and things like that ready. This is a charger to my light. Here's my chargers to my phone. Let me go ahead and put this. Even, like, obviously it's true, but, like, I would not be telling you that. Good morning, guys. So, it is literally, like, 11, and we didn't get up early because we went to sleep really late. I went to sleep at 3-something. He had to go to, like, 5-something, then he woke up at 9. I woke up at 11. She coming down. But I'm about to hop in the shower. We have things to do, so I'm going to let him keep doing what he's doing. I'm going to go up there and help him once I finish take a shower and get ready and stuff it's super super cold outside like very cold outside so i'm going to bundle oh for the most part oh, oh dang i left my phone in there i'm gonna get my second phone because they both need to charge so i'm gonna put this one on the charger and put my second phone on the charger and then get ready so you guys this is such a different texture in my head like and i got a thin i got thin i should have maybe went up a density but I knew I didn't want it super thick, so it looks like that. Ooh, that is thin. I might order it again. And oh my god, I just love your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I might order it and get a bigger. It's not that bad though. It really depends. But I'm a girl who likes to bring her hair to the front. So if it's that thin and I'm bringing it to the front. Wait. But it's cute. It's super dark. This is jet black. Already. And with my vendor on my page it's gonna be cute like when she add the edges i don't know what type of edges i want to do with this look though i don't want the crazy because it's not like curly a wave this is too cute i don't know it looks straggly but then it's cute like i don't know what i'm supposed to do what you looking at i need a brush but i want to talk about that right now we'll just let um ava do my hair and i don't really want the wet look for real i want the this look this is the look I'm going for. Maybe a little bit flatter on the top, but we're gonna see. I was scared to get this. Never had this texture. It's very different. It's literally just wavy. All right, I'm gonna take this off. Get ready. Let me show Ava. Hello, you guys. So it is days later. And I am about to make my morning tea. I'm about to go get my hair done by Ava Waver. Um, I think the last time y'all saw me was like after my nails or something like that. So yeah, I went and got my nail fixed. Because I don't know if I even told you guys. But this one broke while I was packing. Like, what? Oh no, y'all saw me when I was packing. Yeah, it broke when I was packing. Like, what is wrong? <laughs> but I am making my morning tea and things like that. What I showed you guys when I was packing. That's what I'm doing right now. 
And I'm about to leave out so I can get some breakfast. I'm gonna get, well, not really breakfast, something to eat. I'm gonna get some Panera bread this morning. And I boil my water on the stove because I don't really have a choice. All right, now my tea is getting hot. If y'all was wondering, it's spearmint tea. Okay. It's spearmint tea. Do not start drinking spearmint tea just because you see me doing it. Do not start drinking spearmint tea because you see other people doing it. Drink spearmint tea if you have reasons to drink mint tea. You gotta go to, I don't wanna say doctor because they're no help. Go to like a specialist in it. Y'all know I go to a naturopathic doctor, so yeah. And now I'm about to get my bloom. Drink my bloom for the morning and then I am about to head out. Let me actually put this in between. Okay. I'm done with that. And then my camera is low key about to die. I also got a package from Shein. So everything came, y'all. I ended up, y'all saw, I ended up going to Saks and buying some shoes. But I'm probably going to return them. They were super cute, though. So I don't really know. But I already have Dior slides. Like, I don't want to have two yet. Like, I'm just not a seasoned designer queen. Like, I don't need two of the same thing. So I might, I'm probably going to return them, most likely. I don't need that. Um, I can get something else. I'm not really a designer girly. Like, I like it, but it's not needed. Okay, and then here's my, what is this called? Bloom, my greens, and I just put this in it. Oh, my camera out to die. But I want to show you guys what I got from Shein, so I'm going to show y'all before I leave, too. Let me show you guys what's in my packages real quick. So, this is the Shein one. I didn't think Shein was going to come, so I ordered some things off of um, Amazon, too. So, there's two. You'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. I got to be careful with nails, y'all. They're not like acrylics. They're literally just strong. Okay. All right. So this, these are the original shoes, which I know I bought some yesterday. Okay. So I got two shirts by accident. I'm gonna show you guys what type of shirt it is. It goes with one of my outfits. It's just this little zip up thing. You just wear it. It's super cute. I think this is a cute shirt. Then got this gold booty bag thing. and so i was like how am i gonna wear it um i can either hold it or wear it but this goes with one of my pretty little thing outfits boom then i got these are the shoes so this is why y'all saw me looking at the dior shoes i thought about the dior shoes because they look like these i was like you know what? we're just gonna get the real thing then since the fake thing didn't come and here they are i want to see them on my feet Let's look too cute these look better than the dior's yeah these look better for sure. Okay. So we're return. Well, we didn't buy the ones that look like these, but and I probably never will because they just wasn't given how these is given. And then let me get inside. Here, I usually open packages with my nails. Can't really do that one, so I'm gonna just do it slowly. So I'm probably gonna take this today. So I ordered another tripod. I want another compact camera tripod. Here it goes. Very compact, just like my other one. I love it. So I just put my camera on and it goes big. So I'm probably going to take this with me. I don't know what this is. Okay. And then I got a phone. I got some else. Did I not? I ordered. Maybe it's coming separate. But I ordered a um phone amount to go on the mirror because I want to do like get ready with me using my phone on the mirror like, in the bathroom so y'all gotta hurry up I gotta hurry up okay so I got a LED light because I want to take carpet and we don't got time for the extra games so we just went ahead and got one of these lights I've already had one but it broke super super bright really good Oof, I used to use them back in the day and especially when I'm in the car and it's dark it's gonna be cute okay so let me turn these off Here's the charger for it. But I also ordered that mirror mount and I don't see it. And I also ordered a second booty bag. So I guess it's coming with the other package. Luckily it's getting delivered to this house. Because I got to return the booty bag back. And I got to return them shoes back. Because this was only $7 on Shein. The one I bought from Amazon was like $30. So let me look at my Amazon. But let me get my stuff together so we can go. Oh, it was delivered today. So it's, it says it's delivered in the mailbox. So, um... <clears throat> have another package with the booty bag and i'm gonna just show you guys it on the phone so this is what i ordered super cool and then i ordered another booty bag i keep calling it that so let me leave 
Alright, y'all. Alright, y'all. So, I just took my hair out in my drive. And I'm arriving right now. Right at 1 o'clock. I did not get anything to eat. So, I'm probably going to order something. I don't know. Something. But, at Ava's shop. So... Driving. We got some Girl Scout cookies. It's pretty good. I never had Girl Scout cookies for real. But now I'm about to go back to his house and do his hair finally. I'm supposed to be into it, but I'm gonna do it today. And I just I ate American jelly, y'all. Y'all saw. So I got a headache now because that's so bad, but I just want some in my system. But dinner tonight I want healthy. And when I'm in like Miami, I definitely am gonna try to eat a little bit better because I can just tell my body's not getting to get like when I get to the house, I'm gonna probably make some broccoli because he has some broccoli in the freezer. So I'm gonna make some broccoli. Just make me something a little bit more on the healthier side. Still try to eat that way, y'all. I'm trying to keep the camera steady. Still eat that way down here. Well, because my head really hurts right now. Yeah. But my hair looks good, y'all. We're gonna have fun on the trip. So, it's my first time getting natural wave hair, and I really do like it. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I was really hesitant, hesitant to put this wig on. I got it now. Yeah, and it's cute, and it fit my head. I don't know what size wig this is, but it fit my head real good. We don't got no crazy, crazy edges. Just real simple. Real simple. We did like the flip over look. I don't know though. Kind of like some uh, hairline. I mean, a, a nigga hairline. But it looks cute in front of Frank. Just that though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out how I wanna make that look a little different. But um, I'll see y'all when I get to the crib or something. But I know this vlog is short right now. I have not been talking to y'all. I haven't really been doing anything. Um, and when I did do something, I forgot to bring my camera, which was yesterday. So today I'm gonna go home and really plan out everything else I need to do. I have one more day to get everything situated. Um, I need to order some games off of Amazon because I wanna do an intimate game um, morning on the last day. So there is some, and I need to book all of like the excursions. Well, he got all the excursions booked, but I need to book restaurants. So that's what I'm about to get into. Um, where are you turning? Go, really? I hate people. All right, guys, change of plans. I have to go get like some. I hope they have a small version of Dale because I left it at my house. I left that and I left clips. But now I could just start at his house versus have to bring my clips. So, yeah. I'm going to try to do it fast because I don't want to. Damn. I don't want to be doing it all day, all night. Hello, guys. We are at the beauty last. Oh. I am going to get this one right here instead. Hello guys, I am about to make some um, hot dogs. I already retwisted his hair y'all, I forgot to show y'all. But we both about to get some hot dogs. Um, I'm about to do, I'm over here looking at how you cook these hoes because these are very healthy and I've never, bring water to boil, simmer hot dogs for about five minutes. All right, so I'm about to bring it to a boil. This is a really quick meal. Actually, I'm gonna do his hair first because I wanna eat in peace and I have to worry about nothing. <sighs> Avery! I'm ready. Yes, because I changed my mind. Good morning from Chef Riri. It is a little late. I'm about to watch church in a minute. I'm making breakfast for us. I'm cooking turkey bacon and truth be told, I don't know how to make it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop cooking now. But today is Sunday. It's one more day until we are out of here. And we're going to be in the yams. We're going to be in the yams. 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 So, I finished his hair. Did I show you guys? No. I will show you guys the finished result of his hair. And I got my nails done. I got my hair done. I got my wax done. Now, tonight, I am going to shave my legs. And today, I have to finish working on some things. Because today's Sunday and tomorrow is Monday. And if you don't know what Monday means, it means new videos in my community. That teaches the ladies how to be paid creators okay so i'm coming out with a new product soon i'm probably gonna launch if it's march 
probably by the end of March, I will have the new product ready. So probably April 1st is the day I think I want to launch. So I have a month to get all of this stuff together that I want to do. I want to do a big like community type of video thing. So I'm super, super, super stoked and super, super, super excited to talk to my manager about that. Um, tomorrow is Monday. I'm trying to see if we can still do our weekly meeting, like, maybe a little bit earlier. Like, I can do it when I'm at the airport or something, because I meet with my business manager every Monday. And this idea, I need her to get in the works, like, ASAP, no Rocky, or, like, she has an idea of it, so when I get back home, we can immediately start working on it. Like, I always get new freaking business ideas, but this one is what's going to stick for me like I know that this business idea is great I have experience in it already and the girls are gonna love the girls are gonna love me and I was literally thinking about like how can I do this without doing this so you guys will obviously see that creation in around April I'm super excited I don't think that anyone else has thought about this and it's literally genius okay when I say genius I mean genius i'm gonna get it rolling get it going and we launching so we have lots and lots and lots of things to do the good thing about it is i made it easier on myself so i got some ways to make things easier okay because i am a person who likes easy things let me wipe the inside of this cup out as much as i can we're almost done cooking, y'all, though. I'm excited. I'm ready to eat. I've gotten so much better at cooking, y'all. If y'all know me, y'all know I be, I used to, like, struggle, like, real, 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 real bad. But now, I'm pretty decent at chefing it up. If I do say so myself, real decent at it. Especially breakfast food, but dinner food, I've gotten a lot, a lot better. I know how to cook chicken a lot, a lot better. I know how to cook salmon a lot, a lot better. So, you guys, you just gotta get in that field. You can't cook like how like how I can't cook. I didn't grow up with a mom that told me to watch her in the kitchen. Y'all can't be scared to cook. You literally just gotta get out there and do it. Start doing it for yourself. Do it for your friends. Do it for your man if he's not mean. And you will be good. So, and it's really quick and easy, but it does take time. I've burnt myself for cooking like that before. I had fire going on the stove before, like into flames, into the air. So if anyone knows the true come up, it's me. Like some people ain't never put a pot on fire before. I had the whole kitchen and burnt my rug, burnt my hand, all on the phone. And guess what I was cooking? Guess what I was cooking? Hash browns. Hash browns. All I did was put water. No, I think I put grease on the stove. I think it got too hot. And I think I might put I might have put water in it. I don't know what I did wrong. But I put them um hash bags on there. And in a matter of five seconds, five seconds. It wasn't no longer than five seconds. Like at first it was cool, like it fooled me, like nothing wasn't nothing about to happen. They said, psych. Gotcha. I just made my eggs and then I have to make my last pancake. By the time I'm older and I have kids, I definitely, I'm going to be a better cook. And I realize I'm not ready for adult, I mean, parenthood. So the fact that people have been parents since 15, 14, 13, 20, 18, 19, even 21, how did you do that? Like, there's some mature 21-year-olds and things like that and, you know, teenagers, but... I think that I'm fairly mature and I'm not ready. Like, I don't think anyone's ready when you have a kid. There's just no way. I just can't even fathom. All right, we're done. I'm about to plate it and I'm ready to dive in. I have a question for you guys. Comment this down below. So y'all know how some people don't like for their food to touch. I want to learn how to make grits. That's so off track. But um, you know how people don't like their food to touch? Who are you? Do you care if your food touch or you don't care if your food touch? Like, you'll still eat it regardless. Let me know because I'm going to eat it regardless type of girl. I don't really care. All right, last pancake. 
Oh, dang. I like to push my pancakes down. I don't like them too thick. I like it thick, but not too thick. So now I'm gonna make my plate. And I am gonna clean the kitchen before we leave. Cause I was thinking like, I know nobody's gonna clean it if I don't. So like before we leave, cause we leave tomorrow. So I got some tasks that I wanna get done today. So literally after I cook, I'm going to dive straight in. I was all into my business idea, but I pretty much got the gist of it. So now I gotta do all my existing tasks and we will get that business model running later. Let me show y'all my food. Ouch. Whew, yummy. Yummy, 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 I'm gonna wet my hair and put some product on it every morning. Um, what I realized I don't have is a hot comb. I don't have a hot comb to like, you know, hot comb my hair up and stuff. So, yeah, we're really just gonna be sucking it on a trip. We're really gonna see what it do. But I'm about to head to Target and get a suitcase or or I might just Ross, cause y'all know Ross is her. And they right next door to each other. So probably gonna go to Ross and then, um, cause at Ross, Target is my last. But then I'm thinking I might do Target cause it's gonna be better quality than the Ross. Cause I've had several, okay, I lied. I had one suitcase from, um, Ross and it didn't last long it lasted like two trips and then I also had some on Amazon those lasted a little bit then they broke on me so yeah I just haven't found like a good quality big suitcase yet because you know the carry-on you take with so that's not that bad but the big suitcases I have just not I have just not found it so I think I might just do Target for quality Ross just I don't know like why the other one broke and when I went to Ross it wasn't many options anyway the last time I was so yeah and I don't need like no super cute colorful one because it's always gonna be checked in if it's big it's checked in so looks don't really matter only for when I don't want people to grab my suitcase I really don't know what happened just now well I do know this this new um tripod don't got no friction like my other one is like silicone kind of and so it kind of goes against my car cup holder so it stays what's wrong with this one but this one is like the same material as my car so it's just rubbing against each other nigga you're gonna make my car break hard on me what it say okay let me call this place first though yeah my internet broke it's not loading anything do i not have no did my phone not um Oh my gosh, I got time for this. Now full payment to the account. Please have account owner visit verizonwireless.com slash my account. So my bill didn't get paid. You wanna know why my bill didn't get paid? Because my card on file is turned off. Now I have to put a credit card on because I don't have a debit card. I hope this gas station got Wi-Fi. Because how embarrassing, how embarrassing is that? It don't even have no service. There is no Wi-Fi. So right and dirty let me go ahead and pay my gas same credit card i'm gonna have to pay my bills with because i don't have a debit card at the moment it got delivered to my apartment but apparently i don't have no key to my apartment like i'm really about to just scratch that and order a new one to um his house because no this is just too much and i can get it ordered today and get it sent get it sent there by the time i get back or a few days after i get back and then i can just put my digital oh my digital wallet which is on my phone of the car the new car back on my phone so that's what, the, what i'm gonna do but let me get that Crazy life I live, a crazy life I live. Oh, so that means I gotta go in there and order it, or I order it while I'm in Target. Pick it up, so whatever, but I'm hungry. All right, y'all, so I am at Target and I'm in my beauty session. I just paid my bill, so it's but I haven't used it since I first got into this brand. These are the ingrown hair pads and they definitely work. Um, I don't need these though, but I like them because of whatever in it is direct access on my skin, it's just good. And then I'm getting this in a small version because I use this in the big version. I need some more to my bathroom, but this is foliator body stuff that I use. They bumpy razor, I don't really get bumps like that, but it do help a lot. They're asking me for too much. My credit card wants to. Um, Make sure that I'm 
Uh, they want me to do a key cold thing. Anyway, so I'm about to get this in big version for at home. But I really like first aid duty though. Even though it's like got chemicals and stuff, I just feel like my phone. I just feel like it's good quality. Hey, is it working or what? It's just standing there. They got a big version stuff on it. I'm about to get it, even though that stuff on it. Let me make sure ain't nothing on the inside. Like, is it a thing? Okay. So then I don't need these. Yo, is my phone working or what? To work. Now let me see if my Instagram works. <sighs> Alright, let's head to the um suitcases. <laughs> it's still not working. Like, I'm an entrepreneur. My brain went a thousand miles an hour. Like, I need to get it out. I need to get, I need to see whatever let me just focus on y'all okay so we have our products we have our travel version they have our big girl version should i even get the travel probably not i really don't need the travel because i have a travel one i already have that i made like it, i put it in like a clear squeeze thing mm. Ooh. this is too cute but then they have these over here. Like this is a good one that will probably last longer than the blue one. Then they have these. Like I'm definitely not getting white. So the, the choice is, ooh, this is a cute carry-on. Let me put y'all down so y'all can see. I forget this can get big. What do y'all think about this? I already bought a gray carry-on though the other time. Blue is not five, because y'all know me. This one's more heavy. heavy. This, this is more heavy, so that means that when I package it, um, I'm not going to be able to put that much in. Oh, this is a three set. I'm getting a large, a medium, and a small. To get this one, oh, or that. And then let me look at this one right here. I think that tan is super cute. You really see people. So I don't know what this is, but it strikes my eye. So. I think it's like makeup. Let's record. I recorded videos of me walking with each safe, even this little carry-on. And I I'm not even going to do myself like that and walk with the blue one. Well, not that blue one, but these blue ones. Because I already know I'm going to like those better. But I know that they're not going to last me that long. So, I came up with the decision that I'm going to go with the black one. Because it has three suitcases. Three, three suitcases in it anyway. And if I'm going on vacation with another person and they need a suitcase, they don't have a big suitcase. They can get the medium-sized suitcase that's in there. Or the big one if, I, if they got more clothes than me. And then I will have a new black small carry-on to have and I have two carry-ons because I have a gray one that, that my boyfriend used he's not having that because mm -mm, it was 180 it's the same price as this three set and I'm a little bit nervous about it being that cheap like is it gonna break I just don't know because I'll get this one this is super duper cute I just don't know don't know so let's see I'm about to look at some reviews mm -mm, not about to get me and buy another over $100 suitcase and it breaks here's a lesson that I'm going to teach you guys today cheap does not mean better okay because i'm looking at the reviews of the big suitcase the three set is new so there was no reviews on the three sets so i'm like nobody reviewed the suitcase yet so i found reviews on the big suitcase and when i tell you they all they're giving one star one star that's why you read reviews before you buy shit because y'all be getting 20 dollars shit you sad that it didn't even last you one day so if you just spend a little bit more up front it's going to save you more money in the long run stop always being fucking cheap just buy something just a little bit more pricier that's probably gonna last you way, way longer than that other product that you was gonna get Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and get round one. Round one is 200. What is it? 219. A lot, but I already have me a gray carry on, so now I'm gonna have a big tan suitcase that I don't give a damn. I'm gonna look at those on this video. Let me look at them now. Let's just go ahead and that. But yeah, one good review. The rest of them say cheap material. It called all the good ones don't travel that often. Somebody else says they're traveling, they give it four stars. I guess it really just depends on like what area you're at and where you're traveling to. So. Okay, so it has a lot of one-star reviews and it's saying that it's cheaply made. So, let's just go ahead and get this next one going. Bro, let me try this next one. It has 
has any reviews. Okay, so it do. No, zero stars. They had love. They love hobby. Wait, all these reviews. Are <sighs> also, I bought like a hundred dollar set on Amazon, and it was like one. Oh, I said it, and it was three set, and if that's the one I told you guys that lasted a little bit longer. So I'm gonna just bite the nail in this expensive ass tan bag. And as far as carry on, I do want a new um, computer bag. So I might get one of these right here. Let me go compare and contrast with one. Okay. So let's compare. So my book bag is just blue and GF have years. Grandma got it for me a long time ago. This one has a computer pouch. That's something I definitely need. It has more like little storage things. And then the front part got a lot of two signature day trip. Laptop storage. Yeah, water repellent. What about my gray carry? Should I just leave my computer? I'm so indecisive. It's not even cute. Like, this is socks, but me as a person, I'm a blue. I'm gonna keep my mom. All right, so now we're just gonna get some got suitcase. Now we need to get melatonin, makeup wipes, and a mini mirror. And that all this connection. So, yeah, my phone still ain't working, and I can't order no freaking food. So, I am just stuck. I'm so easily irritated at the moment. Like, it's so not funny. Like any little thing, I'm about to beat you up, beat you up for it because I just can't. I'm not talking to my dog, I'm just talking in general. But I just can't with this shit. It needs to go away. And what am I about to do? Do I want pizza? No, we get her right here. So, yeah, but my total came up to $3.90, y'all. I knew it. I spent $400 up in that stuff. Oh, I forgot I'm doing it like. And four hundred. Yeah, I'm just ready to be back home. It's already seven. I have two hours to finish everything to take my butt to sleep. So I'm about to get this food and pack and all that stuff. And my phone still don't work. Did I just tell you that? My phone still don't work. I don't know why they don't work. Should I turn it off and turn it back on? Let me try to turn it off, turn it back on. See. And my camera about to die. Reset my phone, see if that works. I gotta charge my battery tonight. I gotta be sleeping in the next two hours. So I'm about to go ultra speed fast for everything. Like I gotta shower, shave, clean the kitchen, like all of that stuff. It's gonna take like a minute, but I'm gonna get it done. All right, y'all, I'm about to um, shave my underarms and my leg, and I just got done packing. All right, I have shaved my underarms and my legs. We nice and smooth. It was such a struggle, but I'm actually about to wash my makeup brushes. Two while I'm eating. So here's the makeup wipes that I bought today. I bought a new setting spray. This is my old one. It's all night long lasting makeup. It's like not matte, but I got a matte one for like sweat and things like that. And my makeup brushes are extreme the dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean them. Um, I don't have my makeup brush cleaner with me. So we're just gonna have to let these air dry overnight for a few hours. Hopefully, can y'all see? No. These are the ones I use. I'm about to get some hot water and put some Dawn soap. Switch those around, but yeah, I'm gonna do it first before I do my lips. I'm getting sleepy. I took a melatonin already. My beautiful amazing people it is currently 342 342 a.m. so I um over calculated my time so I woke up a lot earlier than I expected but me being me I stayed in the bed for an additional 30 minutes so now I'm finally about to get up and brush my teeth wash my face I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows today I'm gonna really try to do my eyebrows today so I can have good cute pretty eyebrows cuz I'm wanting to do lazy eyebrows so today I'm going to try to make them cute since I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to put like a little, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm about to get ready though. Um, so that we can get out of here and I can end this vlog. It's a new one. Whoa. A sleep mask is the best thing ever. I feel like that's why my sleep, I feel like that's why my sleep is, I feel decent for only four hours of sleep. And I took a melatonin. Melatonin always makes me wake up with energy. I don't know why. So. Let me 
special tea, huh? You're welcome. Wait, you're welcome for what? That's an outfit mask. How am I welcome? You bought it? Oh, thanks. I like that one. That's a good one. I like that one because it carves out my eyeballs. So I can do it with lashes on. Um, so my Air Force fit is pink. Um, I really need to find some panties. I don't know. I'm gonna be pushing it on this chair. But you guys, this is my suitcase all packed up. This is me all packed up. I don't have any lip gloss on. I'll put that on later. Right now, we on business night. Not, not beauty. But this is me. I think I look like cute. So I want Hazel to ride with us to the airport, and then obviously not with us. I will see you guys in the actual vacation vlog, and peace.